Ah, hello, and welcome to the Freedom Show. My name is Ryan Lee, and I'm the founder of Freedom.com, the number one resource for heart-centered lifestyle entrepreneurs. And right now, at this very moment, you are listening to the world-famous Freedom Show. This is the daily show featuring 10 minutes of fluff-free advice showing you how to create a true lifestyle business because it's not just about the money it's all about the freedom and if you want my free special gift 14 15 years however long I've been doing this all of my best business building strategies condensed down to just three pages just head on over to freedom.com that's f-r-e-e-d-y-m dot com or text the word freedom spelled f-r-e-e-d-y-m to the number three three four 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 and today on the hot seat, we've got 10 minutes with Heather Thorkelson, the founder of the Republic of Freedom. And she is one of the leading experts on helping people go from traditional to non-traditional work, you know, um, be working from anywhere. And unlike so many people who kind of give you lip service, they talk about, oh, you can work from anywhere and they live in a little apartment and they never leave. Heather is living the life part-time in Sweden. I, she's all over the world. I don't even know where she goes, but we're going to dive in and we're going to see exactly how she does it. So if you want to learn more, head on over to Heather Thorkelson, H-E-A-T-H-E-R-T-H-O-R-K-E-L-S-O-N.com. That is a mouthful. Heather, we've got 10 minutes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Ready to bring some of that Canadian energy. I love it. <laughs> And I, you know what? And I totally guessed uh, Canada because as we were talking before, you mentioned someone in an apartment in Toronto and I heard the accent. But am I right? We're Canada, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you oh, nailed it. Yeah. Oh, Canada. Okay. <laughs> Heather, now what is the number one secret to you being able to work part-time in Sweden and all over the world while building this, this 100% virtual business? My number one secret is that I show up every day and I do something to push my business forward. I actually take the best action. I always make a list. I make a list the night before of my priority items and I take action every day to move my business forward. That's how it grows and that's how it sustains me to live the life that I do. Yeah, because a lot of people come with like a little scattered shotgun approach. What in, Now, let's dial it in a little bit. Um, for you specifically, give me your two or three things that you do every single day specifically for your business. Okay, every single day I write. Mm-hmm. I'm really, I've become like a total writing nut because writing is marketing. Writing is free promotion, right? Whether I'm writing for my blog or I'm writing, I do a lot of visual storytelling on Instagram. So I write my Instagram, you know, little stories underneath my photos because I'm constantly traveling. So I like to tell people where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I'm seeing, where I'm working from. Um, so I write all the time. Um, I always take mental breaks as well. I'm a big napper. <laughs> Join the club. And I think it's uh, what's that? Yeah, I like to nap too. By the way. Yeah, and so like I, I like I think it's really important to give myself a break. Back when I was a younger entrepreneur, I used to just work, 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 and be stuck in front of the computer all the time. I don't do that now. As soon as I start to feel a fade, I get up and I take a mental break. I think it's absolutely crucial. Keeps you engaged in your work. Um, And the other thing that I do is I just take really good care of my physical health. Like I always hydrate. I always eat well. I I think that your physical health, your mental health is really important to keeping your eye on the prize and keeping focused on what's important because most people get really scattered. As you said, the shotgun approach, they're just Mm -hmm. like, oh, I've got all these things to do. And you know, they don't have a strategy. And then they just end up being sort of glued to their computer all day long. And that's, that's a recipe for burnout. Yeah, and it, you know what? I like the fact that out of the three things, two of them were were really physical. I mean, you're talking about your physical health and nutrition and the exercise, and then you also mentioned the napping, which is a physical as well, as opposed to you know it's YouTube, it's social media, because I think that is a key, and most people don't realize how important you know your health and your mental wellness is to your success. Oh my God, it is. And the thing is, is people think, oh, if I'm taking a nap, I'm not working, but yeah, fair enough. But there's so much evidence, like scientific evidence that shows us that if you don't give your mind a break, you're not doing work worthwhile, you know, like you're not actually churning out good, great stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'd rather work in 
really inspired and I'm really on, you know, my brain is really on fire and I'm doing good stuff and then turn it off for a while. I mean, that's that's the natural way that our brains work. Why force it to do something it doesn't want to do? Yeah, I agree. I, I call it the sprint method where you kind of go hard for a little bit and then you take your foot off the gas and you yeah. just take a little break. Yeah, no, I, I'm with you. Um, now, in terms of your actual business, how it looks, you know, the way you're able to travel, um, what does it look like uh, staffing wise? Is it just you? Do you have a team? I do have a team, yes, and I actually just grew my team a little bit, or a lot, I suppose. (laughs) Um, I have a virtual assistant that I've had for a couple of years now who does all of my admin work, so I don't have to be bogged down in stuff that's not my genius work. Give me a couple Um, couple of admin tasks they take care of. People love this stuff, She does stuff (laughs) like uploading my blog posts, finding photos from my blog posts, like scheduling my newsletter, proofreading for spelling mistakes, checking links, that kind of stuff. You know, like I don't, that's not something I should be doing. I'm not a VA, you know, I'm a, I'm a writer, I'm a coach, I'm a, like a galvanist. I'm out there to get people to be excited about doing things differently with their life. I don't want to be sitting around with this nitty gritty. So she does that. I have another person that I've just brought on to do a lot of graphics work, to do a lot of PDF formatting because I'm churning out a ton of content that, you know, my readers have been asking for, which I'm very excited about. So I don't want to do any of the grunt work. I just want to create. So I've hired someone to take care of that. And I'm also hiring someone to help me out with other types of promotion, um, doing Facebook ads and whatnot. So my team is two, about to be three. Okay, look at that. The big, big increase. Um, yeah. it, it, so in terms of the amount of actual time, um, not including naps, um, how much time are you working, especially when you're traveling? Oh, well, it kind of depends on the travel because I sometimes I like to just – travel, travel, and turn everything off. I really am a big believer that living life is more important than making a ton of bank. (laughs) (laughs) So as long as I'm making a sustainable income where I'm covering my expenses and I'm able to put some into savings, I do take pretty liberal liberal chunks of time off completely. Um, I still blog, but I don't work with clients. When I'm traveling or I'm sort of just doing my own thing, but I am engaged in the business and I am taking on clients, I sort of have waves where I work with clients. Um, my average work day is usually, it usually starts around 8 a.m. and I'm done around 2 p.m. After that, I'll, I'll read a lot, I'll, I'll write, I'll jot notes down if I'm inspired because I want to remember to write a blog post about something later. I'm kind of always gathering information and data and writing down inspiration and stuff like that. But proper working hours is like 8 to 2. But then, of course, I work in spurts. So I'll probably go for a walk during that time and I'll cook some food during that time. Um, And then, you know, have a couple of client calls. But is all of your business dependent on coaching or do you actually sell products as well? I sell products. I have something called the Leap Guide, which I co-created with Leah Kalamikas of the Freelance to Freedom Project. She was originally one of my clients back when she had a job, <laughs> and we worked together for eight a job. weeks. What's she, that? A job? I know. Yeah. Weird, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, she had a job job, and she was like, I don't know if I can make it as a freelancer. Three months into freelancing, she was making $5,000 months. Like, mm. she was doing so well, and I watched her epic rise and I thought all right business partner so we started doing um, we created the leap guide last year which is uh, specifically a guide that helps people who are in a desk job and who know nothing or very little about how to run a business online or how to take their skills out of the office environment um, and make that transition and we have this really great community of people that are in the leap community that are in different phases of that transition we've had over 50 percent of our people actually leave their jobs and start running their businesses so that's great so we have that and i'm also about to launch another program called 30 days to done which is all about teaching people who are new ish to entrepreneurship of how to actually be your own boss how to run things how to get stuff done and still have a life yeah well it sounds like you're doing some amazing things one give us one final strategy for living to trying to be like heather from going from from canada to sweden to god knows where else um one other final bit of tactical advice Huh, tactical advice. Um, is it, well, and okay, I'll, I'll be even more specific. Marketing, because um, that's the biggest challenge most people have. Like, all right, I, I get it. I can create a product. I could create a service. I could freelance, whatever it is. Um, and you said writing. What's, if you only, ha- if I said, you know, you're, Heather, you're forced to do one thing and one thing only to market your business and attract new people. What is that thing going to be? Where are you going to promote it? What are you going to do? 
Okay, I'm going to say all I can really do, Ryan, is tell you what's worked for me. And, and that's then, all we want to hear. And it's worked very well. Yep. Um, I think you really need to be a storyteller, you know, if you're, especially if you want to be location independent. Tell your story. People want to hear what you're up to. Even if you're a stay, even if you're a freelancer, so that you can be a stay-at-home mom. Walk us through what your days look like. Share with us your stories. Make us laugh. Make us feel like your friend. Um, people hire people. People want to work with people. And I think that a lot of people miss that boat. They just market, market, sales, sales, kind of thing, you know. And but we're human beings. We want to connect. So be yourself. Put yourself out there. Visual storytelling. Connect with us. I am all aboard with that. And I, I tell my list every day. You got to tell stories. Um, it's not just the 10 ways to do this, but tell stories. Um, and I and this was some really good strategy here, strategy here, Heather. And I will mention you say one more time again. If you want to learn more about Heather and her programs, it is Heather Thorkelson. H-E-A-T-H-E-R. T-H-O-R-K-E-L son.com and this is Ryan Lee we are signing off with another episode of the Freedom Show hope you enjoyed this one with Heather as always I will be back tomorrow I am here seven days a week we never stop except when I'm taking naps and be so between naps <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this for you and we are going to be having fun have an amazing day see you tomorrow take care and bye bye